Reads a book with her friends every day. Rhea reads a book with her friends every day. If you like, you join and we'll have fun together. If you like, you join and we'll have fun together. Rhea's reading room. Hi, friends. Welcome to Rhea's reading room. Today we are going to read the book. Luca, but basically it is a movie. And what happens is two sea monsters named Luca and Alberto um, really, really want to get a bike named Vespa. Let's see the adventures they do to get that bike. Come on, read along with me. Luca, adapted by Courtney Carbon, illustrated by Francesca Rizzoldi, Designed by Tony Federin. Luca was a friendly sea monster who lived with his family in the ocean. He spent his day herding a flock of goatfish. Though he dreamed about life above the surface, Luca was forbidden to go on land. His parents warned him that humans were dangerous. Whoa, Luca is a shepherd under the sea? He's looking after a lot of goldfish. And did you see Luca and his whole family are very colorful? One day, Luca met Alberto, another young sea monster. As Alberto collected some new treasures, he accidentally took Luca's shepherding crew. Luca chased him all the way to the surface. When they reached land, Luca and Alberto transformed into humans. Everything around Luca was strange but amazing. I see the blue sea monster is Alberto and the green sea monster is Luca. Alberto is coloring some treasures underground and then he accidentally takes Luca's shepherding group. When they came out to the land, Luca turns into a human. Isn't that amazing? Then Alberto took Luca to his hideout. It was full of neat human things, including a poster of a shiny Vespa. Luca was fascinated. Looking around, he realized they could build their own Vespa. The boys got to work right away. Every day on the island, Luca and Alberto made all kinds of Vespas with anything they could find. They even rode one together and soared through the air. Luca never had so much fun. Whoa, Alberto has a secret hideout on the land? That's so cool. And look at the Vespa they built. And Luca's having so much fun riding on there and they're going on a very steep edge and they're gonna go inside the water. But Luca's parents were worried. They decided Luca would be safer living deep in the ocean with his uncle. Before they could send him away, Luca left to find Alberto. Whoa, Luca's uncle looks very scary. Look at his teeth and his eyes. His eyes are blue, that looks very scary. And Luca's parents are also very worried. And did you see jellyfish hanging on the top of their house and it looks like a, a light is hanging from the wall? Luca and Alberto swam to the seaside town of Puerto Rosso, where they met a human girl named Julia. She was unsure about the boys at first, but she soon realized that they would be the perfect teammates for a local race called the Puerto Rosso Cup. With the prize money, they could buy a real Vespa, and then they could go anywhere. Whoa, look at Julia. She looks very energetic, and look at her blue hat and her hair. They look very cool, right, friends? And plus, I see loads of fish on her card. I think she sells fish. And she's looking at 
Alberto and Luca standing on the land. The boys met Julia's dad, Massimo, who was a fisherman. They agreed to work for him in exchange for the race's entry fee. Massimo's cat, Machiavelli, kept a close eye on the boys. He smelled something fishy. I see Julia's dad, Massimo, and her cat. And... Massimo has one hand which is chopped, but another hand he uses it for cutting fish with a big knife. Luca and Alberto knew that winning wasn't going to be easy. Ercole, the five-time race champion, was also competing. The bully taunted the tree friends and vowed to defeat them. Whoa, look at our Cole. He looks he looks very tall and and he's very mean to the three friends. Alberto and our Cole are fighting and Julia tries to stop the fight. And look at Luca. He's very scared. More determined than ever, the team began training for the three events of the Portoroso Cup. Julia practiced swimming, Alberto practiced eating pasta, and Luca practiced riding a bike. Oh, I see everybody's practicing for the challenge. And I think the best challenge was eating pasta. It seems very easy. Over time, they became good friends. Julia and Luca loved to read and learn. Luca was amazed that Julia went to school. He wanted to go too. Oh, I can see Julia and Luca um, reading a book, and I see a lot of books around the room, and I also see a starry night outside. Alberto began to feel left out. He didn't want Luca to go to school with Julia. So he revealed that he was a sea monster. Julia was shocked, but Luca stayed quiet. Hearing the commotion, Arcole ran up and threw his harpoon. Alberto escaped just in time. Oh my! Alberto revealed that he's a sea monster to Julia, and Julia is very, very, very sad. And thank goodness Alberto escaped the harpoon that Ercole threw at him. Julia soon figured out that Luca was a sea monster too. She was worried that Luca would be in danger if anyone knew the truth about him. Later, Luca found Alberto. He was angry at Luca and didn't want to race anymore. But Luca wouldn't give up. He promised to get them a Vespa. I think Julia knows that Luca is also a sea monster because she accidentally spilled some water on him. And did you also see that Luca went and convinced Alberto that they could get the Vespa? Finally, the day of the Portoroso Cup arrived. Luca decided to race alone to protect Julia. It was risky to hide his sea monster identity. During the first event, he wore a diving suit to avoid transforming in the water. Next, he completed the pasta eating competition. I see Luca's wearing a diving suit to avoid transforming right in the water. And did you see an anchor is chained to a boat? And look at how Luca's eating the pasta. He looks so funny and I think he's already full. During the bike race, Luca zoomed ahead, passing racers left and right. He ran into his parents, who had been searching for him, but Luca kept pedaling as hard as he could. Guy, did you see that Luca zoomed right ahead of his parents? 
and I even see a lot of decorations around the street. And I also see Lucas trying his best to win the race. It began to rain. Alberto arrived to help Luca, but he got into trouble. A rain transformed him into a sea monster. A crowd trapped Alberto in a net. Luca rode into the rain and rescued his friend. Now everyone knew Luca was a sea monster too. The boys raced away as Arcole chased them. Did you see Arcole is chasing Luca and Alberto with his harpoon and Julia's right behind Arcole? And did you also see that Alberto's trapped in a net and uh, Luca's trying his best to win the race? They both are transformed into sea monsters by the rain. Before Arcole could take aim with his harpoon, Julia crashed her bike into him. Seeing their injured friend, Luca and Alberto came to a screeching halt. They climbed off their bike and rushed to Julia's side. Did you see Luca and Alberto are helping their injured friend Julia because she crashed into um, El Cole's bike on accident? They both fell down. And Julia, um, Alberto, and Luca are very best friends, guys. Luca and Alberto were nervous as the crowd watched them. Massimo was the first to step forward. To everyone's surprise, he accepted the boys as they were, and he pointed out something important. Luca and Alberto had stopped their bike just past the finish line. They had won the race! Did you see Luca and Alberto and Julia won the race? It's so cool, right? And did you see um, Luca's parents are on the side and they also are very happy and the Simo also gave them the prize money and said they won. Isn't that just amazing, guys? Later that evening, Luca and Alberto finally bought their very own Vespa and the group gathered in Massimo's backyard to share a meal. Luca's family was welcomed with open arms. Guys, it's happy to see all the friends riding together on the on their dream, the Vespa. And I see um, Luca's whole family invited for a dinner in Julia's house. And they all are having a lot of fun. And I also see Julia's cat, by the way. I wonder where's Alberto's family. It was soon time for Julia to go away to school, but she was the only one. As a surprise, Alberto had talked to Luca's parents, sold the Vespa, and bought a train ticket. Luca would be going to school. I see a clock in the train station. Um, Luca's parents and Julia peeking out her window to the two boys. And I also see Alberto handing out the train ticket to Luca. They are both best friends, right guys? Luca wanted his friend to come with him, but Alberto planned to stay in Puerto Rosa with Massimo. Even if they were apart, they knew their summer memories and their friendship would last forever. So friends, whoa, I cannot believe the adventures that Luca and Alberto had on land. And remember how Alberto was very kind to his friend? He really wanted the Vespa, but also he thought about um, Luca's wish and he spoke to his parents, sold the Vespa they had, and he got the train ticket. Luca's very lucky to have a friend like that, right friends? Hope you liked my video, friends. Please remember if you liked it, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.